Hello there and welcome to another easy tutorial. Please like and subscribe for more, and if you need a tutorial on something, leave it in the comments. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to enable and use Steam Game Recording. Start by opening up Steam and go to Settings in the top left corner of Steam. In the Settings menu, go to Interface. In the Interface section, choose Steam Beta Update next to Client Beta Participation. Since the Steam game recording is in beta, this has to be turned on to be able to use it. When you've chosen this option, Steam will tell you that it has to restart. Click on Restart Now, and Steam will shut down and do a little update. Once the update is done, Steam will restart itself. When restarted, go to the Settings again, and Game Recording will be in the Settings list now. When you click on it, a pop-up will show to tell you that it's in beta etc. Just click on Got It. Now, in the Game Recorder, you have three options. The first one is off, slash don't record. This one is pretty obvious, it won't record anything. The second one is the record in background option. With this option, Steam will start recording whenever you start playing on Steam, and it will save the last 120 minutes of your gameplay. When you click on this option, you will see that you can tweak a lot. Let's say I would like Steam to not just capture my last 120 minutes, but I want it to capture my last 240 minutes. The disk space that has to be free will go up too, of course. Let's say I want Steam to record my last 1000 minutes. You'll need 90 gigabytes free disk space to choose this option. For most of you, 120 minutes will be more than enough. You can also change the quality of the video or the MBPs. Again, the higher you go, the higher your needed disk space will be. Now for the raw recordings folder, a standard folder will be made by Steam. You can however change the folder to a folder that's more accessible. Just click on Change Folder, and choose wherever you want your clips to be saved. For Enable GPU Hardware Encoding, I would turn this on, as this can make your video quality even better. Next up, we have the Shortcut Keys. You can change them or just leave them as they are, that's up to you. Finally, we have the Audio Recording section. Here, you can enable or disable microphone capture, and also tell Steam what audio it has to record in the video. Now the third option is called Record On Demand and this will start and stop recording whenever you tell it to. The settings are pretty similar to the record in background option. The only difference is the start and stop shortcut keys. You can change those to easier buttons, so you can start and stop recording more efficiently. You are now ready to start recording some gameplay. Good luck. Thanks for watching and let me know which easy tutorial you want next.